Hello everyone and welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger. I decided to build a Malibu beach house. I did have a request for this a while ago but I've done it now <laughs> because I'm in the summer mode. This is what it looks like at night time and you can see that I have played around with exterior wall textures. I have done this before in the past where I try to have two different wall textures to the exterior of a build. I mean, right now we do have the ability to make feature walls on the inside of a house, but we haven't been able to do that on the outside as you can see here. And I'm hoping that one of these days, Zooms Freeplay will give us an update that would allow for us to have more than one option for the exterior part of a build. Now, I decided that I didn't want to go crazy with landscaping, so I have a few trees in front. I love the colors against the mustard uh, exterior wallpaper option. And there's a bit of gardening on the side here. On the inside in this location is the living room. So from the inside, you can see nice plants. And I think that's quite nice. So it isn't bare for a view from the inside of the living room. It's interesting because the pictures I had seen online had a lot of mustard shades to the builds in Malibu Beach and brick as well. So I combined the two uh, and I'm quite happy with the way that it's turned out for the exterior anyway. Um, and of course, I had to build it on a beach plot. And we have Jude's wife. Jude is the name of the man of the house. And this is his wife up top enjoying the sun and the beach breeze. And of course, there are a lot of balconies so that they can enjoy the view. I'm going to get Jude to take us on a tour of this mansion. This is the entrance past this lovely fountain. I decide this is a fountain, <laughs> not a pool. That's why there's no ladder into it. But once you come in, we have important rooms on the left and right of this entrance. On the right, we have the closet where you can hang up your coats, a wet umbrella, boots, or something of the sort. So it's very important to have that situated as soon as you walk in because you want to keep uh, the mess to a minimum as soon as you get in without dragging your muddy feet into the house. We've got a nice plant in the entrance here and we have the restroom on the side for guests and for obviously the members of this house. You might say why double doors because I wanted to. <laughs> This is the thing about me and I have seen that before, uh, but what it is is that only one door would open up. So I've used these windows on the inside of the house, so it's like a glass partitioning. We have the soft curtains for the arched open doors. We've got these chests of drawers to the left and right with decorative items on them. And then on the side here, I decided to set up the piano and really get the area looking uh, intentionally set up that way. <laughs> It's got the black and the gold accents in that corner and so that area just pops and I quite like it the way it is. We have a spiral staircase that goes up and I wanted it to be that color because of the brown tones, you know, by the beach, wood and so on. And then we have the dining room. This rug, this big rug that you see came from the Wedding Bells live event. When you complete the event, you get to unlock a wedding venue and there is this big rug in that venue. I've got a few of those and I placed it in here, but it's a bit glitchy. Um, and you place anything on it, it's sort of the shadows are having a difficulty staying in place. But these are the color choices I used for this um, dining room. I absolutely love it. The blacks, uh, the feature wall and the purples popping from the mirror behind the bar and the colors pull together nicely and I'm quite happy with the way it looks fresh and new and different from the standard look that my dining rooms would normally have. This is the kitchen. I finally decided to make use of the blue cabinets that we had just unlocked as a prize from the previous event. That was the luxury living event. So it works in this kitchen with the lilacs and there is an actual window. Now this space looks dormant, but still there is a window on the inside. So in reality, light does come into the space. Now it's a full size kitchen. It's um, also got an area to sit down and eat at the side here. You obviously have to take the chairs away, the bar stools, in order to access the cupcakes and coffee machine right next to the fridge. So we have the living room and the study to see on this floor before we go upstairs. I love this dining room and its colors. But let's follow Jude across this massive hallway 
all the way across to the living room. Now I have been having a lot of fun with feature walls in the game. You can see that I have combined the cinema wall panelings against that lovely patterned wallpaper and then placed the artwork on the middle. We have a chest of drawers, a three by one. And then I still went ahead to place the TV in front. I wish that TV could go up on a cabinet in the middle, you know? But this is what I thought would work for the space. And I thought that the wooden furniture worked well with this Scandinavian stereo and the cuckoo clock. And you can see from the inside how the plants look lovely on the outside of the window. This is the study. I wanted to make sure it was nice and cozy and packed full of items. You've got an area to hang your coat. You've got books. Um, and of course you have a stereo, a little one on the side here, only usable by preteens, I might add. And on the flip side, we have the bookshelves. Now, this again is a window that I use as an artwork. I used it also in the Blue House. If you've not seen the video called The Blue House, you want to watch that. It's fantastic. It works as a piece of art up on the wall and I absolutely love it. So this is an overview of the entire ground floor. The floor plan is quite simple, but of course it wasn't that straightforward when I started. But this is what it looks like at a glance. So we're going to go upstairs to the next floor. I initially wanted to place the grand staircase from the French Chateau in the space and when I did it, it just, it didn't work and I really didn't like it. It didn't, it didn't fit the idea of the beach house and this did work for me here. So you come up into this closed space and you have the bathroom with access to it from the living room space upstairs. Uh, we also have another stairwell that goes up to the next floor and this is a long living space. It was quite narrow and I still made it out into a living area. I'm quite happy with that. And I love the artwork arrangement up on the wall here. That blue plant goes under use, so I thought I'd place it on that unit and I quite like it. I have a similar arrangement over on the side here and I'm happy that I was able to make this space um, as a living space and not just a hallway because it's too wide uh, for a hallway. Now there's a door that leads out from this living room to the enclosed balcony in front and I love the combination of the brick against the mustard as you can see here. I think it's lovely um, for a design for the front of this Malibu beach house. Now Jude and his wife Ashley have two daughters. We have this room over on the right that belongs to his goth style daughter. She's a teenager, this is her room, she's alternative and this is her space. And I love the combination of the wallpapers. You've got the yellow on both sides that match the yellow sort of moon behind her lights on the bedsides and she's got nice artwork on the wall. She's got her coats, those are the style of clothing she likes to wear and she has everything she needs in the space. So I thought it was a nicely designed space for her. She's not at home, she's at university at the moment, so she's hardly ever here. Now we have a guest room on the side here. It's not for anyone uh, that lives in the family, so when their uncle comes over, their grandmother, whoever it might be, this would be the space for them. I've played around again with uh, feature walls. I love the arrangement. And on the flip side here, we have uh, closet spaces, and I think it's quite nice in the space. It's a narrow room as well. This door leads out to the enclosed balcony at the front here, again revealing the brick against the mustard exterior. I love it. And those are the two rooms on this angle in the build that belong to family and friends. On the opposite side, however, we have the master bedroom and you come through this little alcove. It's too short to be called a corridor, but you come in through that angle and you have access to the master bedroom here. I think that the Scandinavian brick um, backdrop for the bed, which is a feature wall, is brilliant against the soft pink. And that bed does work well, you know, with the glimmer and the shine of the cabinets. <laughs> I think it's lovely. This is the bathroom. It's a large one and that's why I have a double tub in there. You can get into it from both sides so it's not blocked at all. And we have a double mirror to suit the double bathtub so that him and her can have access to their morning routine without being interrupted interrupted by the other. The balcony has no access to get through onto it so it serves as a window regardless because the interior wall still has a window allowing light in. So we have one more floor to tour on this house and this staircase here 
goes all the way up to the top and that's the last floor and it just turned out in this house that all the stairwells sort of lead up into an enclosed space it's interesting because every single one of my houses just pan out differently <laughs> and this is how this one continued to flow so up into an enclosed space it's a proper stairwell and then you have the door that leads to their preteen daughter's room she's not home she's at school of course she is she's not yet back um, and she has this lovely um, nursery bookshelf here which is from the pregnancy store but you have to imagine that she has carry on over toys from when she was little that she hasn't gotten rid of and so it serves as some sort of um, useless clutter but she still hangs on to them <laughs> and uh, she has a single bed in the corner so it's okay to put it to the side because two can't get in anyway and she has a large window um, and this progressive poster on the wall <laughs> now we have the spa up top and it's interesting because you could do anything you want to I've seen a number of you rebuild some of these homes that I've created and you've changed it into what you would like to see and I love the ideas that I get from you as well on the side here we have a restroom so um, whoever is up here getting treatment especially when you're getting a lot of massage therapy your juices run through and you need to use the restroom so <laughs> that would be a space for that and out here is a platform uh, where his wife is and straight across we get through to another platform this balcony here where he can uh, play table tennis or maybe you could call it a snooker table it could be anything but this is this angle over here outside enjoying the fresh air and an area to sit down and, and eat if you wanted to uh, there is a way out to this balcony here so when you come back into the spa area you walk your way around the corner and here you go <laughs> and this is what the front of the build looks like it's interesting cause when you want to create something unique you find yourself doing things that are completely unusual just to achieve the look and I'm quite happy with the way this worked out but never mind me how do you think it turned out do you like it would you like a life build let me know in the comments down below I had fun building this house and I hope for those of you who are interested in the house you would have fun building it too <laughs> you do have to give me a minute uh, to create live builds for these some builds I do create live builds for and some I don't because I have no space in my town and I end up deleting a house and not realizing I don't have the plan for it there's just so much going on but I think with the pauses and the overviews you get to see the floor plan and how it works thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye